And now on to the dinosaur of the day, Lillian Sternis, which was a request from Dinosaur4602 via YouTube. So thanks. Lillian Sternis was a basal neotherapod that lived in the Triassic in what is now Germany. It was found in the Trossigen Formation, along with fossils of Rulia, a sauropodomorph, by Count Hugo Ruhl von Lillenstern in 1932 to 1933. Hugo Ruhl von Lillenstern was a count, amateur paleontologist, and medical doctor. He founded a paleontological museum in his castle in Bedwein, Germany in July 1934. What is being a count? Is that like being a lord? I think he was born into it, yeah, and it's okay. just a title. Interesting. <laughs> so, I don't know how much you have to do as a count. <laughs> you have to count things from what I've learned on Sesame Street. I don't think it's like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's not purple and he's not vampire-ish. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> anyway... The Lillian Sternis specimens were in Hugo Ruhl von Lillenstern's castle until 1969 when they were moved to the Humboldt Museum in Berlin. So, as you probably guessed by now, Lillian Sternis, Lillian Sterni, which is the full name, <laughs> is named after the count. Twice. <laughs> Twice, yeah, <laughs> the type species. So Lillian Sternis was originally assigned to Halticosaurus in 1935 as Halticosaurus Lillian Sterni. So Frederick von Huhn named Halticosaurus in 1908, but now most bones thought to be Halticosaurus have been reassigned to other dinosaurs, including Lillian Sternis. Oh, okay. So it didn't start as Lillian Sternis, Lillian no. Sternai. <laughs> <laughs> that would be too crazy. Yeah. Oh. So... Gil Cooney and Peter Galton described a new species, Lillian sternus erlensis, in 1993, but there were more differences found between Lillian sternus erlensis and Lillian sternus Lillian sterni, and in 2007, Martin Escura and Cooney named it as a new genus, Lophostrophius. Samuel Paul Wells found in 1984 that Halticosaurus longitarsus, the type species of Halticosaurus, was a nomum dubium. And most descriptions of Halticosaurus were about Halticosaurus Lillian sterni, so Wells named the new genus Lillian sternus in 1984. A left metatarsal found in 1834 was later assigned to Lillian sternus. It was first thought to be a manual or pedal element in 1855, and then in 1908 it was thought to be a pubic fragment of Platyosaurus. Then it was re-identified as part of Lillian sternus in 2003. More bones found in 1961 were referred to Lillian Sturtis in 1992 by Sander. They were found in Switzerland. Specimens found may have been a juvenile or a subadult. There were two specimens found, and they included parts of the skull, lower jaws, vertebrae, tibia, and femur. Lillian Sturtis is thought to be up to 17 feet or 5 meters long and weighed 280 pounds or 127 kilograms, though some estimate it to weigh up to 441 pounds or 200 kilograms. It could be an intermediate between Coelophysis and Dilophosaurus, hmm. but the tibia is shorter than its femur, just like Dilophosaurus. It may have also had a crest like Dilophosaurus, but the skull of Lillian Sterni is not well known. It also had a short hip bone, an ilium, like Dilophosaurus. And in 1989, Rowe said that Lillian Sternus was more derived than Dilophosaurus. Lillian Sternus was a bipedal carnivore. It may have preyed on Platyosaurus, a basal sauropodomorph that lived around the same time and place. And it was probably fast and could catch ornithischians, and it could use its teeth to slash and wound pro sauropods like Platyosaurus. And Lillian Sternus probably lived on floodplains along with reptiles and therapsids, which gave rise to mammals. Indeed. A little mini fun fact there. Yeah. 